Hello and welcome to 2064 Read Only Memories, a I would say a visual novel esque point and click adventure game developed by Midboss and available on Steam and I believe other consoles. I don't remember exactly which ones, but I believe the Switch, PS4, and Xbox. I'm I'm not entirely sure, but I I have the PC version anyway. And well, it's a、uh, it's a cyberpunk game. You know, everyone's been playing Cyberpunk 2077. I'm gonna play Cyberpunk 2064. <laughs> Is what I'm gonna do.、Um, that's the idea, anyway.、Uh, has nothing. They're not they're not related at all, but they have the same setting, I guess. That's the only that's the only connection, really. So why not? I'll try this game out just because of that. Just because everyone's playing a cyberpunk game, I'm gonna play this one instead. And well, the only thing I know about this game is it had a cameo, I guess, in Valhalla. Valhalla, the cyberpunk waifu bartending game that I played before. They had like a cameo crossover thing. They take place in the same setting. They have different developers though, so it's not you know exactly in the same、um, I guess universe necessarily. But they did have like a like a cameo in each other's games, and also I believe there was a very brief reference in Crosscode as well. So you know what? I'll tr- finally try out this game. Why not? I believe there was an update as well.、Uh, it came out initially. I well, since here 2017. I'm not sure when it came out exactly. 2015. I would say 2015, but I'm not sure. It came out, you know, a bit before, and then、uh, afterwards, it had like a new update. It had like a added a bunch of new things. I assume. I don't know exactly what they added, but the number one thing I've noticed is that they added、uh, voiceovers. You know, there's like voice acting in the game. Despite being like a kind of this like retro aesthetic sort of thing that's going on here,、uh, they have voice acting, and I'm like, well, here's the thing. I've been debating this entire time whether or not to have voices. I'm gonna turn it off.、Um, main reason is that、uh, I don't know. It's just more fun. It's fun. It's more fun for me to do the voices myself, even though. I probably this is a little presumptuous of me because there's probably a bunch of professional voice actors that are going to do a way better job than my, I would ever do. But I don't know. I just like having control over the voices. It is an option, and it is kind of like it feels like an old game, right? Old game wouldn't have voice acting in the first place. But I don't know. Anyway, I was gonna play it, but this is a really hard decision actually because it's like you know you can't just you, I mean you can turn it off and on during the playthrough, but like you know once I've decided on something, I don't want to change it halfway because then it'll be weird, right? So I'm just gonna do a no voices playthrough, in the sense that I'll do the voices basically. I don't know. I mean, the only thing I've heard about this game, it's、uh, it's highly rated. It's just that I, the only thing I heard about the voices is that it's a little inconsistent. You know, some voices are really good, others are just kind of random YouTubers, to be honest. Which is not necessarily a bad thing. It's just you know, I wanted to be consistent, so, and I wanted to be consistently bad, which is me. So I'll, I'm gonna do that. Anyway, let's start a new game. I do believe there is voice acting in the beginning, though. Let's see. Like no matter what, there's always gonna be voice acting in the prologue. I think. I、uh, opened this game up before a little bit. Play like ten minutes. Rio, San Francisco, yeah, yeah. 2064 A.D. The world thrives on a constant flow of groundbreaking technology. Cybernetic、wow. augmentation and genetic modification allow the repair and enhancement of almost any part of a human body. Millions of people jack into virtual worlds every day to work, play, and connect with one another with advanced brain-to-machine technology. Easier access to genetic modification leaves hybrids walking the streets looking less human every day. However, some can't keep up with the fast-paced changes around them. They say that ROMs, now commonplace thanks to Parallax, are leading humans to a place where we can never come back, losing the survival skills that we have relied on for millennia. Relationship organizational managers are compiled with virtual intelligence and can seem human-like in their interactions. But despite the marketing hype, at their core, they are only brainless machines. Organizations like the Human Revolution seek to slow the relentless pace of progress, fearing that unchecked technology will make us lose the very things that make us human.
above the rising tension below, a parallax engineer has blurred the line even further. Even further beyond. And with this, humanity's destiny will be altered forever. Forever? That's, that's quite the, the line, you know? It makes it seem like this is somehow we're gonna destroy the entire world. I've read reviews about this game. Again, it's mostly positive. But there are some, like, criticisms. And I don't know if we're gonna, like, you know, it's gonna change the future forever. Is that gonna be true? I don't know. Anyway, 2064, Read Only Memories, a new cyberpunk adventure. Wow. Amazing. And again, I don't know if I like this game. Let me be honest. I have no idea. I know nothing about this game. Um, but we'll try it out, I guess. It's pretty short overall, I think. It's not super long. But hey, it's, uh, you know, just like a typical, like, point and click adventure game. Uh, apparently, like, I've I've read that the shouldn't be too obscure, because I, I kind of don't like the point and click adventure games. I kind of hate them, actually. The really rich, like, the old old school ones, where it's, like, really hard to do most of the puzzles. Uh, apparently, I've read that, apparently, you know, this isn't too hard. Hopefully, it isn't, because I don't want it to be too hard. I hate, <laughs> I hate, I actually hate the genre. <laughs> anyway, uh, Home Sweet Home. Okay, maybe not as so sweet. Musty might be a better descriptor. Okay, and we click on the things. Items. My ID card. Look at ID. Mm -hmm. A small plastic ID card with your name, picture, and stats. We have stats? Is it like a D&D character sheet? Okay, look at it though. Let me just go menu. Can I save real quick? Yeah, you never know! You always have to make a million saves in this game, no? Can I save? Save. Save as. Um... I don't know. My name. Slider... Eh. 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 Actually, can I type? Oh, I can't type. Okay, I can't type. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't think about it. I didn't think about typing. Anyway. Let's see... We can look, we can touch, and we can mouth. We can talk to the bed. Look at the bed first. Your home within your home. Nothing like curling up under those blankets and escaping away for a while. You better submit your article before you turn in, or you won't have a place to sleep for long. Hmm. Yeah, I submit an article, I guess. We must... Can we sleep? You probably shouldn't sleep before submitting your article. Nope. Okay. Can we talk to the bed? This bed only chats back when you're sleep talking. It's not the most well-designed function. Does it? Does it actually talk back? Is it like, um, what do you call those? Like Siri or like Alexa, you know? Look at door. Well, at least you feel safe behind this newly installed security door. It's late. Nothing is really open right now. I can't go outside. I can talk to the door. You command the door to stay locked. It beeps stoically back at you. Amazing. Everything is voice activated. You know, I don't really have... Uh, those functions, I guess, on my phone or whatever. I always turn that off. Why, why would you even turn? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I guess for convenience? I mean, it sounds really high tech, doesn't it? Like, it's really straight out of sci fi, but I, I just find it inconvenient. I'd rather just press the buttons with my hands. Look at a sheet of paper. A single piece of loose, unsorted paper lies on the ground. It's paper. It sort of suits the room's aesthetic better with there, there on the ground, don't you think? What do you mean, don't you think? Who are you? Who are you, who are you talking to? Who's talking to me? Talk to a sheet of paper. A page only holds the pins of its authors. This one's blank. Can't talk to it. Look at the sludge. You don't know exactly what that ooze is, only that it seems to be growing day by day. Running water might just make it worse. What do you think? You ask the blob of the sink not to loiter, but the bubble's up at you. Sentient, good. Can I use an item? Can I use my ID card. Don't stick that in there. You're certainly not going to be the one to reach inside that to retrieve it. Okay. Look at the fridge. Video screen in the front says mustard half full. Spoil make ten days past expired. Hmm. Very convenient to show like just what what's inside your fridge. I guess. Can also just open it. You know. Um. I have mustard. I guess we'll have mustard for dinner. 
You open the fridge, you see a bottle, a bottle of mustard and a card of spoiled milk, which has developed an odor. Maybe the spoiled milk has one more good day on it. Maybe. Egg milk. You're technically... You can. You won't die from drinking spoiled milk, but you might have diarrhea. Um, you might get an upset stomach. Maybe. From drinking something that tastes bad. Mostly. Uh, that's what I've heard, actually. A lot of products that... Uh, have an expiry date tend to not be the real expiry date of the food that's been spoiled you know at least in america i'm not entirely sure how it works in other countries because i only read about something about america um but you see, always see the expiry date for for example on chips or whatever you know it's not necessarily the chips have expired after a certain day it's more like it's less fresh according to the company that made it you can still eat it afterwards it just doesn't taste as good that's all anyway you remind the fridge that you need to pick up some more milk when you go out, it jumps down milk on the list. But of course, some obviously some foods can definitely expire. For example, mayonnaise. Don't, li don't leave mayonnaise or like egg anything egg-based, I guess, to expire because that will definitely kill you. I mean, not kill you, but you know, give you food poisoning. Probably best to just make a mental note instead. You had a vitamin R. R? Is it R? R for one lifetime in here. Vitamin R. Is that a real? I don't think that's real. I've never heard of a vitamin R. You know, I've heard of vitamin A, B, C, and D. But R, hmm. It's just like a vitamin for every letter in the alphabet. Use an item. ID card. You stick your ID card in the fridge, let it cool off for a bit. Well, that was pointless. Okay. I put the milk back in. Putting it back in there won't make it less spoiled, but it's probably a better place in your bag. Keep it, I guess. Keep the milk. Use milk on the sludge. No way. You can't possibly imagine the undescribable, inhumane horrors you're about to unleash into the world. Or the stank. I'm just thinking. A stack of papers. Uh, a, a stack of paper for your unpublished novel. Is that a novel? Hand on paper is the most tangible method, but if you're gonna be so sloppy, maybe going digital would be a good goal. No, your principal doesn't whine too much about the dot. Would Hemingway go full digital if he were in 2064? Mm. I, don't, I don't know much about Hemingway. I just know he's a writer, that's it. <sighs> Probably. I've heard, I remember the word Hemingway. <laughs> you know, I, I don't know who he is. I don't know what he writes. I think he writes some poems. I remember doing, I, I remember doing like a uh, English creative writing class in university. And I've heard the name Re Hemingway, Hemingway, Hemingway. <laughs> multiple times. I still don't know, ex know exactly who he is and what he does. Um, talk to the papers. Most people write a talk on paper. You just talk to paper. Mm, yes. Blank paper. That's all this. What's this? YMO poster? Your friend Hayden gave this to you. The group is old, but the music is timeless. That's what he said, at least. Highlighted. Yeah, I wish I wow no for oh no this is a really random thing but like I've been trying out a game called Tyranny. It was like on free on the Epic Game Store just to try it out real quick. It's like a CRPG. I'm not gonna stream it most likely because it's not really a good stream game. I think because um, I'm probably not gonna finish it. But uh, I remember in that game sometimes when there are like highlighted words, you can like hover over the word and it explains what the word means. And that's a very good feature, I would say. The best feature in that game would be that. And I wish more games had that. You know, whenever you highlight like a word or whatever, it's like, oh, it's important, but I don't know what that means. And I just like hover over it and you know, can you explain what it is? You know, like choose my exposition. If I really want to know, then give me it. Otherwise, you don't have to tell me, I guess, if I don't if I don't want exposition. I don't know, it just depends. Like a lot, a lot of like narratives and stories. Sometimes I don't, I don't want exposition, right? Especially if it's, if it's forced. That's that's what I don't like. When they try, oh, here, here, uh, let me just explain every single thing in your world, even though you live in this world. You know, unless it's an like isekai, I guess. You live in this world, somehow you don't know any of this. So you have to explain it to a player. You know, I wish you could just choose if you want the exposition or not. You know, it's the choice that makes a difference. Anyway, uh, careful, that's a load-bearing poster. Load-bearing? What's that? Talk to it. Thanks for the tunes. Maybe one day they'll get released on Lips Music. Lips slash slash music. Plant. Look at plant. This plant is in pretty bad shape. Isn't this supposed to be the one with the easier plants to take care of? 
use plant. Careful, the poor thing's almost more fragile than a snowflake. Talk to plant. They say plants react positively to a conversation, but this poor thing might be too far gone already. Hmm. Is it dead? I mean, that's often what happens when I... I mean, the, the one time I took care of a plant, that's what happened, actually. Clearly, water from the sink isn't an option right now, but this gross spoiled milk is definitely not a nutritious alternative. Can I look at this plant milk, actually? I can just look at it by itself. It's spoiled milk. A good bit past due date. Obviously, there's the computer, Lappy, I guess. The window, look at the window. Everyone loves a vertical sliding window. It's like currently broken, window being propped open by that book. Maintenance requests pending. Just window. Despite the smell, keep the window open. Better have gross air than no air. Besides, the window's broken. Talk to window. There's someone out there. I don't I don't want to talk to anyone outside the window. I'll talk to the window. Obviously. ID card. I'll throw your ID outside. You wanna get cyber cracked? I lose your information. They're gonna use that to hack your accounts. What do you call that? It's called, I've learned, you know, every, recently I've learned a lot about security online these days. Um, but uh, I think that's called credential stuffing. Is that what it's called? You know, you, you, they have your information, so they use it to steal your accounts on various websites. Look at book. A copy of Wakefield. Sometimes the old books are the best, especially to keep your window propped open. Classics can get boring pretty fast after multiple reads. Besides, it's more useful when you have the window. I don't really read books, I read manga. <sighs> Talk to book. Well, uh, mangas are books, I guess. I'm gonna be honest, I don't have a lot- Well, I have a few, but I don't have a lot of physical, actual manga. Let's just say I, you know, read manga in online. Anyway, you give the book a pep talk, keep that window open, hold your position, don't lose focus. Yes, encourage the book. It's not even doing reps. Oh, with all the books on the shelf, you pick this slacker. A bad book. Coffee, look up coffee. Coffee, the great equalizer. The one thing that the poor and rich are likely to chug through the day, you assume. Not really. I don't drink coffee at all. I never really started, so. I don't know. I just prefer water these days. I mean, you know, before I drank a lot of water, I just drank a lot of soda instead. You know, I, I guess I, I just. I just don't like hot drinks. Yeah, I just don't like anything that's warm or hot. I don't know. I have a very sensitive tongue, so if I drink something hot, I'm like. I'm like, it just, it hurts, hurts me. It just causes pain. So why would I drink something hot? <laughs> I don't know. You take a sip of the old stale coffee, the letters F and K seems clear as day. Ah, oh, yes. Uh, clear as a crisp spring morning. Isn't that right, Zach? It's also really gross. Yeah. This cup has really cooled off on talking. I, I lost the hearts for you a while ago. Oh. Item. Here's some milk. <laughs> Small milk and stale low coffee. Delicious. Yum. Dip it in coffee. No. Why not? It'll make it all coffee smell, you know, and maybe it'll wake you up from the smell. Whenever you need like a, a pick me up, just smell your ID, I guess. I don't know. But I don't think that's how it works. Hmm. I guess that's it. Well, there's nothing else to look at the room except this laptop. Let's go. Let's go laptop. Good old lappy. It may not be the most powerful or the fastest or have the best screen, but, well, it works. It's very wide. I don't know what resolution that is, but it's a very wide screen. Good up, Lappy. Lappy is a bit of a relic. Oh, okay. You have an article due tonight. Better finish it before bed. Okay. There's okay today. There's Journal Logic, there's YouTube, which is, I guess, Lips Live, and uh, Inbox, okay. We're in Neo San Fran, by the way. Same uh, setting as Valhalla. That's the cameo, you know? I get what I said before, they said they're not in the same universe. I mean, they are in the same universe, it's just, you know. It's just not by the same writers, so obviously... They can't just have like uh, a thing where they just have m millions of characters to just talk to all at once from the other game. Um, but there is, I believe, well, I mean, I know, I already know this, but there is like one character you get to meet, I think, in this game that's from Valhalla. I'll try not to spoil it, but there is one person. Oh, inbox. Uh, look at it first. Your inbox. 
A hell so terrifying, so specific, so personal that no other living thing should dare enter. Luckily, you're the only person with a password. Yes. You know, I, I actually have multiple emails. You know, <laughs> I have multiple emails. And, uh, well, I mean, all I get. I mean, well, for one email anyway, I sometimes get weird ones <laughs> from YouTube. Not really YouTube, rather, but, uh, I don't we call it. I remember like recently, like I got like weird mail where someone, I think it was my mail or was it something else? Maybe not actually, maybe it was someone on YouTube, but I think it was some kind of like PM or something that basically said uh, like, hello, we've noticed your YouTube channel is uh, cool. Join, join me now, you know, contact me further to get in on this thing where you'll you know be the greatest or something i can't remember exactly what it said but like it was very ominous it's like join us now and then you can like go like even further and then be the best be super famous or something like that like i didn't feel i mean it, i mean at the end of the day i think it's spam but it didn't feel like spam you know normally spam would be like buy you know you could buy viewers go here you know and there's a, there's like a scam link uh, but the, the mail i got was like it was very like it is is as if an actual person wrote it you know and it was just weird i didn't really reply to them because it was kind of it's very vague though that's probably i mean it is a spam or a scam or whatever because most likely it was just like just like an email that they just give to everybody anyway but they, they said something about like i think it was joined with some kind of program there's no specifics though you know that's that's obviously a red flag right there like joining some kind of program or something signing up for something but they, they don't have no specifics at all and they just tell you to, to like contact them which obviously means that they copy and pasted it the, you know to everyone i can only assume anyway Get cheap crash! Only 99 credits for 30 days supply 2012 stims. Yeah, that's the biggest thing. You know, the thing about the spam mail is that obviously often they are just poorly <laughs> written and with a bunch of spelling and grammar mistakes. The one mail that I did get, the ominous one, was uh, actually perfectly spelled and perfect grammar, so it just made it more weird. Anyway, scam mail. Mm, yes. Hello there, I am Primus, uh, Princess Emma Thomas. Yes, the Princess Emma. Heiress to the digital empire of the Horus Fortune. Yes, I write you today as you need help to scrape a great fortune. Just give me a million dollars. Uh, as if I'm going to need transfer to at least five different accounts to the World Bank. We'll seize my credits amounting to 420. 194.1 credits. Please, if you send personal credit ID markers to me a video so I can send you 20% of my fortune. Uh -huh. I'll require that you send a half back upon receipt of the funds. You may keep the rest of the money. The best part? There's literally nothing that can go wrong. Totally. So grab yourself some vintage money. Welcome to the queendom. <laughs> What's his email? Oh. You know, the, the years change, but the scams are still the same. I guess. Bill. Uh, past due, apparently. Your account is past due in the amount of 1,396.4 credits. Failure to restore your account may result in termination of service. Power plan power. Nice. Age old choice between food or electricity. Uh, work mail. O OMG Zounds. Hey there, I'm the lead editor for WTF Sounds, formerly Oh My God Sounds, or OMG Sounds. We're a new uh, up-and-coming audio review feed looking for hot talent who needs a platform for their work. We'd love to feature any product reviews you'd like to do for us, so we can use it for ourselves and don't credit you. We'd we'll be able to give you some great exposure if you like your, stu if you like your stuff, we could possibly throw some creds your way. But no guarantees though. We're just saying that. Don't they know people die of exposure? Do they? They die of exposure. I guess exposure to something. Rent mail. According to this email, your rent is nearly due. Better get that article submitted too. I'm just, I'm, you know, I'm just reminded of Valhalla as a similar thing. Where you know, I mean, I guess just that's just life though. Paying your rent. In Valhalla, it was the same thing. You know, that was the main uh, motivator for that game was paying your rent. You know, or at least the uh, the initial motivator. Obviously, there's other things that happen, but it was the main mechanic in that game. A coupon for five point zero credits back on a Hasni Infinity hmm, coupon. A Hasni Infinity has all of your daily calories with none of the nutritional value, like the opposite of a diet version. Yes. Invitation. An invite to come see the lightning ceremony of the Christmas tree downtown from your friends at Dr. 
Trisha Le DDS D Le Le Hmm Okay Why would your dentist invite you to a lighting ceremony? Feels like a tramp Probably a tramp It's an ambush They're gonna get you A weekly update from VTech This is your weekly update from Vintage Tech Your number one source for classic technology Popular pieces this week the King of Click, a retrospective on the classic motto and keyboard. Unsuscrub. No, unsub. Request denied. Suspicion cannot be modified. Nani. Can't just do that. It's illegal. Unless, well, the rules will probably change in 2064 in this dystopian cyberpunk alternative future. Okay, let's go to YouTube. This is Lips Live, the premier online video network. This app is like a mesh of all active streams. Okay, oh, it's just like, it's YouTube, except it's also Twitch though, you know, where it's a live stream. So I guess YouTube, you can also live stream on YouTube, but I never tried that actually. And I also don't watch anyone on YouTube live because it's weird. The UI is just weird to me because it looks like a video, except it's not. And it's like, I don't know. On YouTube, I'm j I just expect pre-recorded content. I don't, I don't expect live content. But I guess, I don't know, some people have made it work, I guess, but I don't personally watch stuff on YouTube for for some reason. I don't know, I'm just used to Twitch, I guess. I always just, if I'm going to watch a, a stream or something, I watch it on Twitch, not on YouTube. I don't know, it's a weird thing. Even though it's like literally the same, like fundamentally, it's just, I'm just so used to Twitch's website. I don't know. The walls are paper thin. Watching a live feed at this hour will probably cause your neighbors to kill you. No. Well, I mean, just turn it down. <laughs> can, can you not turn it down? Turn down your laptop or use headphones? Do you have headphones? Uh, you wonder if there could possibly be anything nearby that might aid you on your quest. Hmm. The beer speakers are too just too loud. You don't have anything else that I can use right now. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Journal Logic. This is the fanciest, fanciest program, but it's the only word there that still gets updates for a machine as old as yours. Oh, okay, so it's Microsoft Word. So these days I use, um, what's it called? Uh, Libre, I think? This is just like a free word editor. I mean, as far as I know, I could be wrong. <laughs> but like, Microsoft Word used to just come free, right? When you when you buy a new Windows or whatever. On Windows 10, however, I think it's not free. I, I You can use the online version, but you can't use like, you know, you can't just have it on your desktop by itself, I think. I could be wrong. Maybe not, or, 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 am I thinking of Google Documents? Anyway, I use I use LibreOffice. I used to use something called OpenOffice, but I've since heard that apparently that's been, you know, abandoned, I guess. So nobody updates it or something? I don't know, I'm not sure, entirely sure, but... but now I use something called Libre, apparently. That's recommended, so I use that. Before you can review the GX Ultra Beats, you must become one of the GX Ultra Beats. Where did you put those damn headphones anyways? Okay, we're reviewing like headphones. Is the idea? Oh, okay, because that's what we're doing. Okay, we're doing an article about headphones. And it's gonna be incredibly, you know, biased because obviously it's been provided by the actual company instead of an honest review. Okay, today is Neo San Fran... San Fran? Neo SF's? Neo San Francisco? Oh, I want to say San Fran for some reason. Why do I say want to say San Fran? I don't know why I want to say that, actually. Like, is it just a thing that people say to shorten the word San Francisco? <sighs> no idea. Today is Neo uh, San Fran's most beloved morning show all about news and entertainment. People in Neo Oklahoma are still confused by their name. This is the show's online newspaper called The Scan Line. Okay, today is usually all about feel good news, but it does focus on serious current events at times as well. Current events. Okay. Stuff here, I guess. Okay, today, The Scan Line. It's, uh, I guess, literally like a newspaper. Which is weird, because newspapers have, you know, at least for my generation anyway, basically obsolete at this point. A story about the human revolution, I guess. Uh, Human Revolution. Is that like a Deus Ex game? Deus Ex Human Revolution? I believe I played that actually. At least, you know, well, before I stream, so I don't have a playthrough of that recorded or anything, but I played it before, you know. Human Revolution remains vigilant in this hashtag stay human protest in upper market. Yeah, it's hashtags. 
December 19, the Human Revolution is on day 10 of their protesting outside various genus clinics around the city, including those in the East Bay and down the Pencil Peninsula? Peninsula. Genus, the gene slicing treatment facility, has been met with much controversy since the organization reached mainstream exposure over the past few years. The genus employee Mart or Mort Mort Crane spoke to OK Today exclusively. According to him, most genus workers are up in arms, claiming they're being terrorized in their own city. We're here to help people who need gene therapy for their own personal reasons, whatever they are, said Crane. Individual rights have always been of paramount importance to us, he continued, and we believe that our customers have the right to live as they please or require. The human revolution stands behind their claim that genius is diluting the human experience by providing hybrids with gene splicing treatments. The group feels that the goal is stated by genius, in addition to newer cybernetic technology, are warping humanity to a very scary, dark future. They're playing God in the most senseless of ways. We were born human. Who are we to mess with genes and start turning everybody into who knows what? said one protester who asked to remain anonymous. It's ridiculous, it's scary, it's not human. More information to follow as the story develops late into the holiday 2064 season. June, Valmer, Anna, okay today. Okay. I guess that's the backdrop of the, uh, of the game, I guess. We saw that in the prologue a little bit. I was gonna say, though, hashtags, though. <laughs> I've never got hashtags. I never understood hashtags, let me be honest. Like, there's an option. Like, I tried putting hashtags on Twitter, I guess, but like, what's the point? It just, in fact, when I, you know, when I see hashtags and when I use them, I'm like, it feels wrong. I don't know. It just doesn't feel right if you use hashtags on Twitter, even though it's like, I, I, I well, I think it came from Instagram, right? Or something like that. I don't know. I don't know when ha hashtags were a thing. I think at least a few years, but I just never got used to them, you know? It just never feels right. Just put hashtags. It just, it's weird. You don't say hashtags in normal conversation. So why would you put it in like an online post? It's just weird to me. Unless like, I mean, the only time it makes sense to me is when you're like a corporation, I guess. Because it feels like official. I don't know. <sighs> Ironically, anyway. Though I do put hashtags on my uh, YouTube description, I guess. You know, just because. I don't know if it helps at all, but I guess I do that anyway. Though it doesn't really help. I, I feel like it doesn't really help. All I do, I just put the title of the game. A hashtag, you know, tie of the game. Like, for example, this game is like hashtag 2064. Also, oh, oh, the dialogue has been going, ah, join Ryan and Hasky Boys for 10th annual TMI New Year's Eve special where I interview some of the hottest celebrities and find out what their plans are for 2065. Tune in or join us live at Union Square for the big show starting at 10 p.m. Okay. Okay, read that again, actually. That's Charlie Nova, because I, I was expecting the dialogue to just stay in one spot, but it went faster than I thought. It's automatic. Be sure to check out Top 10 Hassy Flavors of 2064 next week on TMI's The Scan Line. Okay, it's just clickbait article about like a 10 list? Oh, no, actually, that was actually just... That, w that was not repeat dialogue, ironically. That was actually just a normal dialogue after you initially click on it. So I missed it forever. I, I wasn't looking at it. I was, I was just thinking about something else. Anyway. Oh well. It, whatever, it doesn't really matter. Uh, what's okay today? Sports article? A story about our hometown, Neo San Fran 49ers. Oh, uh, football. Is that football or sports ball? I don't know, I don't know much about sports. But I assume 49ers is like, it's a sports team, I guess. The Neo SF 49ers hashtag. Also, again, do people still use hashtags in 2064? It really is a dystopia. Um, is back on. Oh yeah, I, 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 I want to finish my thought actually about hashtags though. On you, on my YouTube video description, because you know they recommend you to add hashtags, I guess. So I did it just because. But basically, I usually just add like the name of the game, uh, the developer who made the game, you know, hashtag. For example, hashtag mid boss or whatever. I'm probably gonna do that in the YouTube description. It doesn't really matter though. Nobody really searches for the developer, you know, even more, even less, or even less so than the actual name of the game. I feel like, especially because when you do a hashtag on YouTube anyway, you can't really like. Um, you can't really uh, format it correctly because you ha you have to put it together for one. You can't add any punctuation, and the capitalization is a little weird as sometimes, right? So, for certain titles anyway. So I, I just feel like hashtags are kind of useless, <laughs> but uh, just do it anyway because YouTube tells me to do it, so I do it. Um, 
But the quest for 10 is back on. December 19th, Sunday's big game, but new candlestick brings an important question in everyone's mind. Can the 49ers punch your ticket to the playoffs and bring the Lombardi Trophy back to Neo San Francisco? It will mark the first win since the move to new candlestick after an almost 50 year hiatus from the city. Since returning, they've had disappointing losses to the New York Giants and the Mexico City Luchadors. <laughs> They brought it off on a fresh coach, but controversy surrounds their new quarterback, Patricia Lopez, as some vocal sports fans continue to excuse over having illegal cybernetic enhancements. Certain modifications to implants are banned by the league, but their official reports state their repeated investigations say Lopez found no evidence to substantiate these rumors. It's relevant to point out that Lopez is the first woman to ever be quarterback in a major football team, <laughs> only Tokyo 2064. The 49ers look to reclaim their top spot since their last win with their Super Bowl. Um, is that like is that Roman numerals? I can't read that. I don't know how to read Roman numerals. Like, uh, I can, what L? What does the L mean? I don't know what L. X I think is like a tens, right? And I is like a one, so like eleven, eleven hundred, or I don't know what the L means. What's L? Huh? LXXIX. I don't know. It's a big number. That's the joke. Uh, victory over the Tokyo Titans, I guess. Sunday's game is a world match, and the winner secures a spot in the playoffs between our Neo San Fran's 49ers and the Kansas City Chiefs. It'll be a close game to say the least. Catch Sunday's results here first. For all things, everything, I'm doing I'm on a okay today. I wonder if we'll meet these characters, by the way. Let's see, local news article. A story about a broken down Froyo stand. <laughs> is that what it is? Golden Gate Park vandalism on the rise. December 19th, the reports show that local foodie booth JJ's Froyo stand was destroyed last night in what appears to be another case of Rogue Rom committing an act of vandalism. A Rogue Rom. The cart was evidently attacked and damaged by a large Rom that had no shell. Witnesses state that the alleged perpetrator has been randomly appearing at night before lumbering back into the nearby trees on the western side of the park. This is the first case of a Rom being reported to live on his own in the wild as a stray. Please say that tracking down potential owner of Rom is likely impossible. <laughs> okay, I see these, because I said before in the prologue, these uh, Roms are like, you know, basically robots. You know, robot pets, I guess, or at least, it didn't say pet, but now it seems like it's a pet. <laughs> you know, it's a stray Rom. It's like a stray pet, I guess. Some speculate that the strange Rom may have been framed by vandals who set their crime deliberately to make it appear to have been carried out by the Rom, rogue or under orders. That's what? That's weird. Why would you provide like an alternative perspective in a news article? That's not how it works. It's unrealistic. Anyway, OK Today reached out to Parallax for a comment and they assured us that the rogue Rom is purely a myth that tends to pop up conveniently when low revenue businesses have an urge to file an insurance claim. Parallax did not appreciate the reports of vandalism and are being attributed to their models. Is this wild rom the real deal, or can it be a fairy tale created by those looking to make a quick buck? Or perhaps there's something else to be gained. More as this story progresses. Mel Hopkins. Okay today. A different person. For once. Let's look at this one. Oh, there's no one. I guess it's just maybe a profile of a person. I guess that's it. Back. I must say, by the way, the, the music is pretty boppin. Kind of boppin, boppin. I, guess I can't say the word boppin, 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 boppin. Anyway, uh, let's log off for now because apparently I need headphones. Where's headphones? Uh, can I talk to the bed? Can I sleep in the bed? No. Do, 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 do. Unless I need to use my items on something, a spoiled milk, my ID card and something. Finish your work. Uh, talk to Lappy. Looking pretty hot there, Lappy. Like literally hot. Overheating as usual. That's not very good. It's <laughs> gonna destroy your battery. You know what they say about you know they say about well, it's better to uh, go to go digital. You know instead of pen and paper. But what happens if your laptop explodes? You lose all your work then. Keep on creaking on, door. Keep on creaking on. Hello? Am I missing something? I feel this is what happens. This is what, even though the game is super easy, this is what happens in point-click adventure games. I'm like, what? Oh, oh okay. See, I did what? What is that? What is this? This is look like headphones to me. It looks like a. 
looks like uh, I don't know origami I guess I don't know little like blobs in the corner there I didn't see it a pair of GX Ultra Beats headphones the ultimate budget audio now try them on so you can start crafting your review talk to headphones the smart headphones are enjoying your voice in high definition is, this, is it like voice is everything voice activated okay those are the GX Ultra Beats you have to, have to do product review on they're smart headphones, so you should be able to use them with some things lying around your apartment. Okay, you can, you can rub it on things, I guess. GX Ultra Beats, the top of the line in budget headwear. Play music. Okay. So it's like a jukebox. It's like an in-game jukebox as well, okay. Uh, can I use a headphones on this? Sleek hums and blips. Sounds secure to me. Okay. Headphones on the bed. Headphones detect that you're laying down, begin playing some soothing ocean sound effects. Mm, yes. Okay, that should be enough testing for the headphones for you. Your accountability remains intact right away. Can I use headphones on this though? You seek up the headphones and listen to a live stream of a cooking show about making ramen using household materials. I don't know if you can do that with just a mustard. Unfortunately, you learned that mustard and small milk aren't quite enough to make good ramen. Hey now, you're getting paid to write this review. I don't expect you to be this morally grounded. You can hear the sick gurgling in high def. Yes, HD. Calm down, you're not gonna get audited on your Times headphone use quota. I'm curious though, I wanna, you know, use the headphones on everything. You touch the poster and YMO begins playing your ears. Wow. All blank, there's nothing to read or hear. Page is blank, all of it useless, useless. Listen to a plan. No, don't listen. It's not a good vibe. <laughs> okay. It's dying. The death music. You scan the book with your finger and the audio file begins to play. Good voice acting. Yes. I guess it's, oh, it becomes like a, it's an audio book. That's interesting. Somehow, you could just do that, I guess. Don't throw your new headphones out there. This may be a moderately safe neighborhood, but those will be gone in 10 minutes if you leave them out. Listen to the coffee. Careful, these are a review copy. GX probably wouldn't appreciate them coming back covered in uh, them coming back in covered in coffee. Anything else to look at? I don't think so. You can listen to the computer. The GX Ultra bits sync automatically as you start to watch a live concert from Oakland. Okay. Can I do over here? But said before, yeah, I can do it before. Let's go over here. Because we have headphones now. The HDX Ultra Beats sync to Lappy automatically as you connect to one of the less pornographic feeds. <laughs> what? Your best options are usually limited to video game streams, old concert recordings, and live cams of baby animals. Your choice is clear, I guess. Lappy speakers feel neglected, but now you have the first hand experience need to start actually writing the review. The first part of work is done. You're so accomplished. Yeah. Video game streams. That is true. I do watch a lot of video game streams. I'm trying to think. What? Do, I mean, I, I well, I don't really watch like uh, live cams of baby animals necessarily. Though I watch a few videos of like you know. Well, there's a channel actually where I mean I don't, I don't watch it very recently, but like there's a channel where they have uh, the the owner has a bunch of pet mice. I guess. Those are pretty cute. I don't know why. I don't know. I'm weird. Like people watch dog videos or like cat videos. I watch like mouse videos and uh, I like to watch uh, crow videos as well. Like crows and ravens. I like watching. I used to it. Right? Not really. I guess not really recently. But I definitely watch a lot of videos about how smart <laughs> those birds are and how like for example, you know, I mean, you heard this a million times already, but like how like they they can understand. You know, they can like keep track of whoever. Um, interact with them, you know, any like person, they can like recognize faces and they can like solve like problems with tools and everything. Crows and ravens or anything in that like, what we call it, corvid, corvid species or something. They uh, are very smart, is all I have to say. Anyway, journal logic. All right, time to get work out of the way. Let's do this. Selling your soul, mm -hmm. bit by bit, character by character. 
this is the best this is the best headphones ever it can sync to anything it's so good and so comfortable there you're big brave surely your global video gx ultra beats is your ticket out of poverty into a, a book deal surely i mean probably not work is finally out of the way time for bed okay i guess it's from uh oh my god it's not really work though I would say it's not really work until you have a contract, you know? Don't... I mean, that's what they say, you know, don't do any free work. If you want to get paid anyway, do, you have to at least write down a contract before anything else. Even if it is free, you should still, like, state your terms. Otherwise, later on, you know, five years down the line, they're gonna, like, turn around and use your, uh, work for other things that you don't want to be associated with, is all I'm saying. Can you watch some other videos? A we'll stream of uh, classic 1990s coming wage dramedy. Mm. Anything else? And uh, uh, last stream of a weather report developed by a news rom. Mm. News. Exciting fashion show. But yeah, other, other than that, other than one of the videos I watch, video live streams. I guess well, I just watch a lot of memes, I guess. Sometimes you just browse through YouTube recommendations and you look for memes. Basically. New documentary on hybrids. Hassy commercials. Wow. Uh, infomercials. Some odd gadgets. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep clicking through. It doesn't matter. You just browse YouTube, basically. Okay, I think they're repeating again. Ooh, video game and development. Wow. Oh, is that like, uh, well, that's probably a reference to this game. I believe this game, um, 2064 Read Only Memories, I believe it was on Kickstarter, right? So definitely like an another indie game that was funded uh, successfully. And, you know, that's how they made the game and everything, right? As far as I know, anyway, I think so. It's probably a reference to them. It's a meta reference. A short home decorating guy. Wow. Anything else? Alright, no, that's it. Just repeating, so I'll just leave. And I guess that's it. You switch over to the news and instantly regret it. Another muni price increase, another new company, another new disaster. Another story not broken by you. Okay. I guess we're like a weird journalist? We're not really, again, we're not really hired though, you know? We're not like... In a company, I guess we're independent. But again, again, if you're gonna be independent, though, you gotta make, you gotta prepare contracts. You can't just do stuff free unless maybe there was a, maybe it's implied that there was a contract. I don't know. Your bed's playlist is all messed up. Has someone been sleeping in your bed with, with smart headphones? Nice. Ocean sound effects. Okay, well, let's just sleep. Dialogue, amazing. Uh, and usually, again, this would normally be voice acted, but I'm I'm doing the voices because I want to. I don't know, it's more fun that way. Ah, it's more fun for me anyway. I mean, I've never really had that choice before, you know. Usually, in a lot of, like any kind of narrative-driven game, um, either it is voice or not, and not really a choice. This game does have a choice, which is weird. But I guess I'm choosing no voices. At least, you know, not by. Uh, the game itself but uh i guess a robot came into our room is it the well actually is it the the rogue rom that was mentioned in the news article you know the one that destroyed the uh what, 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 what it was i forgot what it was but a fruity i can't remember what it was but a fruity stand is what i want to say but it's not right some kind of stand anyway mm, how does a robot sound i don't know ah uh, good you're finally awake you're finally awake we caught you crossing that, you know. What is called? I forget what he quoted, but you know the Skyrim thing. Caught you crossing the border just like that thief. I'm honestly not sure why most humans still have such lengthy sleep cycles. It seems rather inconvenient. Also, this person, uh, this by this person, by the way, I think shows up a lot. You know, in the 
official marketing for this game, so I assume this is like one of the main characters right here. Are you significantly opposed to cybernetic augments? What the hecky? How'd you get to my apartment? Or boa? Hmm, boa. Oh, I hope you don't mind. While you were asleep, I had some spare time on my hands, so I reorganized your records at Entertainment Media using BISAC. BISAC? BISAC? Once that was done, I found the cleanliness of your living and workspace to be suboptimal conditions for the long-term performance of my micro-actuators, so I took the liberty of cleaning the place up a bit. As you awoke, I was attempting to interface and make performance adjustments to your personal computer, but I uh, went into a bit of a snag. A snag? <laughs> Forget all that, tell me why you're here, I'm calling the cops. Uh, I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to engage you in any sort of subterfuge, but I tend to ramble on a bit when I'm nervous. You feel emotions? That's weird. The robots have emotions. I have all the necessary protocols, but I've never actually spoken to another person besides Hayden until now. Yeah, Hayden. You know Hayden Weber? Well, saying I know Hayden is putting it simply, but yes. I haven't seen Hayden over here. Where is he? Apparently, we know this person named Hayden. I mean, he was mentioned before, actually. Was he like uh, something involving the poster, I think? Or was it something else? I can't remember. But apparently, we know this person, but we haven't seen him in a year. I don't really know. That's why I'm here. Help me. You aren't quite my only hope, but you're certainly the most statistically supported. <laughs> okay. We're not the only choice. Um. Slow down. S just start from the beginning. The beginning. Okay, well first there was the Big Bang. No, um, yes, I can do that. Earlier tonight, Hayden's apartment was assaulted by some persons unknown to me. He seemed frightened, terrified even, and instructed me to escape. I crawled out of the window, and after some deliberation, hurried here. I heard them breaking down the door as I left. Why well, am I your best hope? I ran an algorithm against every contact in Hayden's address book. Based on the combined deductions of personal profile, directness of connection to Hayden, occupational skill, and probable, probable motive, you were the candidate most likely to both be able and willing to help me. You have, like, I guess, protagonist syndrome. And the one least likely to be suspected of doing so. Mm. Why should I involve? Why should I, I, I? Why should I get involved? I haven't seen Hayden in forever. I don't even know who he is. I took into account that you might not want to help me out of the goodness of your heart, as they say. But considering your recent slump in published articles and the lack of liquid assets in your bank accounts. I figured you would jump at the chance to be first on the scene of the violent disappearance of a prominent parallax researcher right in the heart of Neo San Fran. Well, I guess. I guess we could make money out of this. Am I wrong? Maybe you store your cash under that ratty mattress in the corner? Okay, fine. Wha was anyone alpha for Hayden? I don't know. I'm not certain who would benefit the most from taking Hayden prisoner. Admittedly, Hayden has become increasingly paranoid as of late, and has warned me to stay alert, but he would never specify anyone I should fear when I asked. It's not as if though he has any obvious enemies. There are several multinational corporations that could make use of his engineering skills, but I can't imagine any of them would go as far as snatching him. Why would they want him? He is one of the top researchers at Parallax, but there's no way that alone could be enough to get him kidnapped. I mean, you never know. I suspect it has to do with me. Who are you? What are you? What do you have to do with it? Uh, excuse me. 
I forgot to introduce myself. I've never had the pleasure of doing so before. I am Turing, okay? It's the first language you ever learn in any computer programming class I remember. I didn't want class of computer, you know, programming. I know this must sound quite unflattering, but I suppose you could describe me as one of Hayden's experiments. He is currently researching advanced machine intelligence at Parallax. I am a personal side project of his. Exploring true artificial sapiens. It's possible that the ideal a sapient machine could scare or tempt an organization into kidnapping him. Either to stop his research, or to take it and use it for themselves. Hmm. So chatty, what makes you special? A regular ROM has a virtual intelligence. Yeah, that, is a, that is a thing that's covered in... I mean, a lot of sci-fi, I guess, you know? It's artificial intelligence, this is virtual inte intelligence. Virtual obviously meaning, like, not real, basically. It's just It just imitates human behavior, but not really. And the idea of true artificial intelligence, just like in any kind of sci-fi uh, setting, is actually like a real artificial intelligence. Is actually someone or a, a, like a like a, a, a like an actual artificial being that really simulates an actual person. You know, feeling emotions and thinking for themselves and that sort of thing. I guess they can rather they can be rather smart, even human seeming, when you talk to them. But they're just cleverly programmed to respond to a variety of situations in an organic manner. They aren't in any way self-deterministic. De As for myself, much of my code wasn't actually written by Hayden, but rather compiled during my infancy, as I learned to interact with the world around me. But despite my ability to self-modify my code, I am afraid to adapt or develop any further without Hayden's guidance. Um, you see, first you put some missile launchers on your arms, and then some laser beams in your eyes. Just turn into a death machine. Did he only program me with the illusion of free will? How would you know, one way or the other? Nobody really knows. How would you? Hayden once told me that his desire to create artificial life stemmed from his need to find out, but I can't say I have any new insight into the question. How can any of us tell that we aren't just puppets dancing to someone else's will? I think we're getting a little too philosophical here. You're right. I apologize for the tangent. Well then, guess we should start to fight Hayden, and then find out that he was kidnapped. Find his dead body, and then I'll be the first on scene. Then I make tons of money from publishing a clickbait article about how, like, Hayden's dead. Indeed, time is of the essence. I took the liberty of charging the auto cab fare from here to Hayden's apartment to your personal finance account. And the car has just arrived. Um, don't do that. Why not go? <laughs> Uh, why not go to the police? They might be- well, they always do that in every single story. Is like, why not go to the police? And then the character says, well, we can't go to the police because so and so and such and such, you know? But the real reason is because if everything was resolved by the police, unless your character is, you know, uh, like actually in the police, otherwise, you know, if they're not, that, that, that defeats the whole story. <laughs> that defeats the whole purpose of the story. Just leave everything up to the police. Alright, okay, the end. That's it. Game over, right? There's nothing much to do if you just let the police do everything, obviously. Um, especially well, especially in Cyberpunk. In a Cyberpunk setting, the police are usually controlled by corporations. That's usually how it works, like private police. They're more like mercenaries than actual like police, what we think of uh, in real life anyway. Usually they're supposed to like work for the government, but in Cyberpunk, not not necessarily. They usually just work for companies or whatever. So they might not help you because you might not even like uh, represent their interests in the first place. Anyway, I could totally afford that. Either way, okay, just be sarcastic. 